Cardano rallied 16,000% the last time this happened, and it just happened again. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here, and in today's video, has Cardano begun a meteoric bull market rally? Everything from this historic pattern repeating itself, to the timing of this rally compared to the Bitcoin halving, to the resurgent enthusiasm from the hashtag Ada gang, these are all of the reasons why I believe that a huge 500 to 1000% rally is coming to Cardano soon. So if you're an investor in Cardano looking to make huge returns in 2024 like myself, then you're not going to want to miss this Cardano price prediction. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Hi, I'd like to buy some Cardano, please. Sure thing. Here you go. Stop can't do that. Uh, who's he? I am. For legal reasons unidentified, tyrannical probably, but also maybe not overseas government entity. And why can't I buy Cardano? Because we haven't figured out how to tax it yet. I mean, it's a threat to your finances, man. You're like, did you watch the video? It's about to moonshot. The only thing moonshotting is his paycheck. Can it? You're next. Well, I don't have time for this, but I do have NordVPN. You wouldn't. I would. No! With NordVPN, you get to keep your business, your business, and your information private. NordVPN uses state-of-the-art technology to protect your internet connection from hackers, malware, and eavesdroppers that may otherwise use your IP address to access critical and compromising information that could be used to steal passwords, bank account information, or even, dun-dun-dun, private keys. A basic tenet of success in cryptocurrency is not losing your money to hacking. Digital security must be taken seriously to protect your private keys from getting stolen and hackers getting access to your exchange accounts. For that reason and many more, NordVPN is a critical component of every crypto enthusiast's security architecture. I have personally used NordVPN for years, so when they reached out to sponsor the channel, it was like a match made in heaven. Because as you know, I only sponsor products and services that I have personally used and tested and believe in, and NordVPN passes all of those tests because I do believe in it, I do use it, and I do think that it will benefit you. So make sure to go to nordvpn.com forward slash Jeb and sign up for a two-year plan and get four additional months free with a huge discount and do it risk-free with a 30-day money-back refund guarantee. Again, that's nordvpn.com forward slash Jeb. Make sure to sign up with the first link in the description box down below. Disclaimer, the Crypto Jeb YouTube channel does not advocate for tax evasion, but does think making fun of tyrannical and totally not United States based government entities is entertaining. Let's set the stage. It's a decade ago and a strapping stud of a man named Charles Hoskinson tells the world that the future will be decentralized. Fast forward seven years and the pandemic has caused Bitcoin and Cardano both to drop by over 50% in the span of just a couple of weeks. The Bitcoin halving would be taking place just a couple of months from then, but at the time, Cardano is falling off a cliff. Trading at only two cents, the fledgling decentralized everything cryptocurrency movement seems to be on its last legs. Then with the Bitcoin having sending up the entire market parabolic, Cardano rallies 750% in the span of 145 days with nitrous added to it in the form of a break above the 20 weekly exponential moving average, a massive run on MACD's histogram, and RSI pushing well up towards 75. Within 18 months of that fateful drop down to two cents, Cardano is trading at over $3, having rallied nearly 17,000%. During that rally, Cardano has grown into a gargantuan behemoth of layer one architecture in the cryptocurrency space, being led by the notorious Ada Gang. But after reaching an all-time high of $3.13, the Cardano price would stall and the token would drop 93% in value. All seemed to be lost. But in the background, Charles Hoskinson, that strapping young lad that walked across that TED Talk stage all those years ago, continued to say the price doesn't matter. The fundamentals matter. And as they do, the fundamentals have continued to improve. And so emboldened by the continuing development of smart contracts, staking layer one architecture, the decentralized exchange space, and the dApps being built on top of Cardano, the Ada gang holds fast and continues to dollar cost average into the crash. Ada would eventually fall all the way down to 20 Four cents, and all hope seemed lost. The Cardano story so far is one fraught with exuberant rallies and cataclysmic crashes, an emboldened hate gang and broken-hearted and devastated zealots that refuse to give up. But viewers of this channel and members of the Ada gang all around the world realized that something very similar was happening to what occurred in 2018 and 2019, when a 98.5% drop pulled Cardano from $1.30 to 0.18 cents. And a fateful pattern started to emerge that mirrored history, a symmetrical triangle pattern following the massive bear market catastrophe. And so for the entirety of the year of 2023, all eyes have been on this trend line right here. Can it be broken? And if so, what will happen next? The Cardano market had dropped massively from all-time high, but then 
good news. On November the 9th, news broke that BlackRock wanted to create an Ethereum ETF, and within weeks, Fidelity, another $10 trillion asset manager, wanted to create an Ethereum ETF as well. This news sent Ethereum on a 12% rampage and emboldened the ADA gang that if another layer one blockchain for decentralized applications could have an ETF around it, maybe one could come to Cardano as well. And thus, just 24 hours later, Cardano for the first time broke that fateful downtrend, setting a new high at 40 cents. With the bear market downtrend broken on the backs of hopes of an eventual Cardano ETF alongside the development of the space continuing and the ADA gang emboldening, Cardano painted a massive ascending triangle pattern just waiting to break out with a price target well above where the market had currently been trading, pushing up towards 60 cents. And within a couple of weeks of breaking the downtrend, Cardano broke the zone of resistance between 40 and 42 cents and rallied all the way up to 65. With this breakout, Cardano has begun to repeat history. Drawn in white, these vertical lines represent the exact days that the halvings have taken and are going to take place. The last Bitcoin halving took place on the 11th of May. The next is slated to take place sometime between April the 17th and April the 24th of this coming year. During the last bear market, we saw a massive downtrend shattered follow the breaking of the 20 weekly exponential moving average. At the same time that that breakout was occurring, a major rally on MACD histogram was occurring, and RSI was pushing up above 70 for the first time in years. Upon breaking the down training level of resistance, Cardano would go on to rally very quickly up towards this uptrending level of resistance as defined by previous market price action. This would end up being an 800% rally, but the market would still have to rally 750% to return to all-time high because of the depths of the bear market crash. This rally was the beginning of the Cardano bull market, and it happened predominantly after the Bitcoin having The exact same formation is appearing this time once again on Cardano. Following the breach of the 20 weekly exponential moving average and on news of the Ethereum ETF, Cardano broke the downtrend, began a major uptrend on the weekly chart MACD, and smashed straight through the 70 level, pushing up to 82 for the first time in well over two years. Except the difference this time is that this rally is occurring four and a half months before the Bitcoin having In self-same fashion to the previous bear market entry, we hit the top of an uptrending level of resistance defined in the bear market and are currently moving into a small correction, similar to how we did here in September of 2020. Except this top happened 90 days after having. This top is happening 120 days pre having From this top in 2020, Cardano still had to rally 700% to return to all-time high, and our recent top at 60 cents is still a 400% rally away from all-time high. History is repeating itself, and Cardano is setting itself up for a meteoric rally to at least all-time high, probably much farther. But despite all of the technicals and fundamentals pointing to a massive Cardano bull market, the bad news is that there are a few concerning variables that could cause a major correction on Cardano first. Although the break above the 20 weekly exponential moving average has been critical for the success of the bulls, a break above the 200 weekly simple moving average is still necessary. And as can be seen, that level sitting at exactly 65 cents right now seems to be insurmountable for the bulls at the moment. Following the massive rally on Cardano leading into the bull market, Cardano went through a 51.03% correction from 15 cents to 7.5. And, and based on our convergent resistance sitting between 62 and 65 cents, a similar event could be in the works. Following Cardano's 100 171% rally, is it possible that Cardano drops up to 40% back down to the baseline that it set as the top of this symmetrical triangle pattern? Yes, and in fact, many variables point towards that drop coming soon. It is important to note that when Cardano last went into this major rally before the 2021 bull market, Cardano breached into the 70 level and had to correct all the way back down to the 50 level because it got overextended and the bulls ran out of strength. Right now, the RSI has rallied all the way up to 81, and it would make a lot of sense if Cardano needed to drop down to 50 to 60 on RSI to reset the bullish strength before moving into a bull market rally. The timing would line up as well. Bitcoin seems to be moving into some kind of corrective movement at some point during the month of December, and so it stands to reason that if Bitcoin goes through a correction, the altcoins may follow. But... With the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF imminent, likely to be approved in January or February, with the major sell-off between Christmas and New Year's coming and having passed by January, and with plateauing interest rates that are coming this 
week. All factors lead to exceptional bullishness in Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency space moving through the rest of 2023, moving on into 2024. Overall, the future for Cardano looks bright and an all-time high run might look something like this. If Bitcoin goes through a major correction as a result of being overextended after having rallied $20,000, that would lead to a massive correction and reset in the MACD and RSI on Bitcoin, as well as on the altcoins, including Cardano. That could lead Cardano to a much larger correction than what Bitcoin witnesses, whereas Bitcoin may witness a 10 to 15, maybe 20% corrective movement. Instead, Cardano may witness a 35 to 40% corrective movement, dropping us all the way back down to baseline support between 40 and 42 cents. If that occurs, the reset RSI in MACD coupled with the higher low that would be established would give the bulls all of the strength and technical backing that they need to send Cardano well over a dollar moving into the first quarter of next year. And so has Cardano begun a major bull market rally? Seemingly so. But a major correction may be coming first. So what should we do with this information? Regardless of whether a large correction down to 40 cents is imminent or not, it is a great time to begin dollar cost averaging into Cardano. I also encourage you to consider keeping a lump sum of cash on the side in some kind of interest bearing account to prepare for the exact buy the dip kind of opportunity that we just laid out with the drop down to 40 cents. Dollar cost averaging and keeping a lump sum on the side are the exact two things that I am doing right now regarding my investment investment in Cardano and it has paid dividends thus far. And I do believe that if you dollar cost average into Cardano every single Friday, a manageable amount of money that you are willing to lose and you keep a lump sum of cash on the side preparing to buy a major dip if one should come, then you will be able to make considerable wealth in the coming bull market because it is my firm belief that Cardano will at least go back to all-time high, which would be a 400% rally. And I believe that based on all of the technical and fundamental development that's occurred so far in the last two years since Cardano went to all-time high, that a doubling or tripling of all-time high is absolutely possible. In fact, the last Cardano all-time high rallied to almost the 2.618 Fibonacci extension level at $3.42. If Cardano were to conservatively even come close to that level at the 2.618 level, you would see a 1,600% rally on Cardano. And if we only rallied to the 1.618 level, you would see a 900% rally on Cardano. So what is my end of bull market price prediction on Cardano? Based on all of the analysis that I have at my disposal, I am predicting north of $5, which is a 10x from current levels. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and share this video with somebody else that you think would find value in it. And let me know down below, have you begun investing in Cardano yet? If so, why? If not, why? I'd love to hear your rationale for the investments that you are or are not making. Also, don't forget the sponsor of this video, NordVPN, and go to nordvpn.com forward slash Jeb and get access to security architecture that is going to keep you safe in the coming bull market so you are able to keep the gains that you are going to make. Before I go, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh!